And now, the Lexington Medical Center Sports Desk. All right, dress rehearsals for high school football. Final week of the preseason for most of the, most of the schools as Jamborees gave fans a sneak preview of their respective programs. We will go to River Bluff High School side of the Lexington sports Arama. White Knoll facing Batesburg Leesville. The Timberwolves of White Knoll have a new head coach in Nick Pelham, who spent the previous five seasons as the defensive coordinator at Dutch Fork. So Nick has brought five state championship rings to the Red Bank community. And there you see him coaching up his guys. And the Timberwolves getting a touchdown here on a nice touchdown run by Nate Thomas. And White Knoll would win the exhibition over Batesburg Leesville by a final of 7-0. The head coach tracking the progress of his team right down to the most basic of details. My natural tendency is to be bothered and upset, and I'd like everything to be perfect, but I'm oddly calm um, because we have so many young kids. We're going to start 10 sophomores. Um, we're young. Even our returning juniors and seniors are, they don't have a lot of experience. We have some that have some good experience, but we're so young and inexperienced that any time we can come out here and take a deep breath and feel confident about that we were able to get dressed i told them just a minute ago we were able to get dressed we were able to get on the bus we were able to warm up and we did that and and and, and we performed okay we, we 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 now know that we can do it we now know how to do it we now know that 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 part of it's taken care of um so i feel good that we got this dress rehearsal ready to go and uh, now we can turn our attention to our next opponent down and reach your life and that next opponent will be Spring Valley. Another game on the docket, the host school unofficially because the sports Rama was originally scheduled for the Hillian High School. River Bluff taking on Gilbert. These two teams make deep runs in the playoffs traditionally. And Hunter Shepard to Apollo's Cook for the Gators. And River Bluff is on the board, and the Gators would win this one by a final of 13-7. to Looking forward to seeing what those two teams do this year. They had a great run last year, and we'll see what happens in 2021. The Joe Turberville Jamboree featured just one game. Irmo hosting Lawrence at W.C. Hawkins Stadium. Their head coach, Aaron Brand, his guys had a big playoff win last year at Westside. So what does 2021 hold? Well, well, here's, here's a little clue here. Isaiah Whiteside to Deree Rogers. First play of the game. And that's the way to kick off. Even, I mean, granted, it's just an exhibition, but hey, that's something you can carry over into the, to this week's contest in the regular season. A few minutes later, Whiteside will find Eric Tucker, who fights his way into the red zone. And then two plays later, Eric would cap off the drive with a touchdown, making the score 14 to seven. And Irmo would win its exhibition with Lawrence at the Joe Turberville Jamboree by a final of 28-21. Let's go to Chapin for the Awn and McKay Classic. Adam Holmes and the Gray Collegiate Academy War Eagles taking on Westwood. And there's Casey Adams, he's committed to Georgia State. Sean Elliott, are you watching that? KZ scores for the War Eagles, which is usually the, if the ball's in KZ's hands, good things are going to happen. In fact, put him on your uh, early fantasy football team for 2021 because here he scores again. And Gray would defeat Westwood by a final of 21 to 7. We'll stay in Chapin. Newberry taking on Blythewood early in the game. How about a little defense? Tyrell Brown picks off the screen. And he is headed the other way. That's a Bulldog touchdown. So the big fella gets a, gets a pick six. Now Black would answer in the second quarter as Anthony McCullough is going to go 73 yards on, on the pitch. And that will tie the game up at six. And Blythewood will go on to win this one by a final of 13 to 12 over Newberry. Head coach Phil Strickland of the Bulldogs, he's retiring at the season's end, but he's locked in on tonight and next week. I mean, we got a good group of kids, and uh, I think we can mix it up. We can throw and run, and, and uh, right now it's just early, and we don't have a lot of depth. So and when it's when it's 105 in the shade, no depth it doesn't work together. I, I'm not worried about the final year. I just want these kids to get the opportunity to play. It's not about me, so let, let's hope we can get as many games in as we can. And one final game, Chapin, the host team of the On and McKay Kickoff Classic. Chapin hosting Spring Valley. Xavier Short, he's headed to Appalachian State. Nice pitch and catch there, moves the chains. The Vikings on defense, and they're going to get a sack. 
Chapin would win the semifinal of 19-7. The Friday Night Blitz, week zero. JR hates it when I say week zero, but it is week zero. It is a week from tonight.